Well, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is meeting South Korea's foreign minister in Seoul. Both Blinken and Park Jin said they share the view that humanitarian pauses are needed in the war on Gaza. On Wednesday, Blinken outlined the U.S.'s preferred scenario for how the war should end. He said the United States hopes that Gaza will be unified with the West Bank under the rule of the Palestinian Authority. Uh, let's cross now to Eunice Kim, who's in Seoul, monitoring developments there, has the latest. So, Eunice, what more did we hear from Blinken this morning? Right. So uh, this was a press conference held with a U.S. Uh, Secretary of State Tony Blinken, as well as South Korea's Foreign Minister Park Jin. Uh, Blinken didn't have too much to add to the discussions that he had at the G7 in Tokyo yesterday. That was, of course, when the G7 members had called for urgent action to address the humanitarian crisis in Gaza and called for uh, parties to... Uh, uh, align itself with international law when it comes to humanitarian uh, measures, uh, considerations, even in war. So uh, we heard from Pak Jin today saying that he and Blinken were both very concerned with the high number of casualties coming out of Gaza in Israel's uh, war on Hamas. He also uh, condemned Hamas's attack, that surprise attack earlier uh, in October of Israel, and also uh, reiterated the need for the humanitarian pauses to be implemented for urgent uh, humanitarian help to come in for those very sorely affected. Uh, now, at the press conference in Seoul, uh, Blinken, again, uh, did not say too much to add to yesterday's comments from Tokyo, but he did thank South Korea for its support of condemning Hamas as well as its readiness to support a humanitarian uh, aid for those in Gaza. All right, Eunice, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you, uh, Eunice Kim there in Seoul.